Wonderful, welcome souls and spirits, it's your girl Sweet MC Souls here, and welcome to another exciting video, yeah! And welcome back to some more The Sims Castaway Stories with my boy David. So, um, it, well basically, let's just say in the last part, it got intense, and I was just <laughs> losing my marbles. But now, Timothy is life is in peril, and we must rescue him, but we also have to run an errand for Professor Reinhardt. He says something about this, like medicine and like the temple and all that but before we begin i have to read the journal logs of all the previous chapters that i played during that part so yes i feel like i have a lot to read so i think i'm up to idle fancy I hated to interrupt, but it didn't look like I had a choice. The shaman was meditating like it was his job. After speaking with him, I realized that all the fuss was about my old buddy Spalding. I knew that there was something about special about that idol. I'm a great judge of the personified character. I remembered exactly where I last saw the idol. I hope it's still there. Guess what? It wasn't. I found Spalding back with the orangutans in Simeon City. Maybe I'll open a lost and found hut. I returned to Creepy Hollow. That shaman is one neat guy, but just an okay kisser. He couldn't believe that I found the missing an idol. The shaman told me that I ne what I need to do in order to get past the jaguar guarding the forbidden village. Find a leaf in the jungle and befriend. Oh yeah, that was so cute. And I thought it was a leopard or a cheetah, but now we know it's just a spotty jaguar. I was off to find a leaf in the jungle. I picked a nepeta leaf for Mata. At least I'm pretty sure it's the right leaf. I'll find out soon enough. I mean, for all I know, I just garnished myself with jaguar parsley. I need to relax. If cats can sense fear, then this one should have seen, been on sensory overload as I approached. The leaf worked like a charm. A herbal charm. Mata turned out to be a total pussycat. Now I can finally get into the cursed forbidden village. What? What am I thinking? Tame Jaguar Guardian, check. Travel to the Cursed Forbidden Village, check. Entering the Forbidden Village, it dawned me on how many villagers must have lost their lives here. This place fills me with a deep sadness and sense of loss. I can't imagine how the tribe must feel. R.I.P. I kind of did the cross thing, but you can't tell because I don't have a camera, like face cam. But all these things considered finding this drum should have been a cakewalk, but the forget forbidden village turned out to be haunted by the ghosts of fallen villagers. I want to help these ghosts find peace. I needed to put the urns left behind by the ghosts with the others. The ghost urns were never placed on the proper altar. I helped the ghosts find peace by moving their urns to the right spot. Now they would take me to the drum. It was back to my new gig as the drum delivery service. I got the drums. It was right where the chief said it'd be, minus the ghosts. This was the fun part. I made the chief's day, reuniting him with his drum. He's so happy that he's throwing the first luau since the curse to celebrate. I've never been one to miss a party. The luau is in full swing. This tribe sure knows how to party. Whoop, 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 whoop. I'm boogie. <clears throat> there was Tomoti. I thought that a kiss would be a fair trade for a party drum. I tried to steal a kiss, but Tomoti is playing hard to get. I did whatever it took to impress Tomoti. At first, drinking the volcano water was like gar gargling with lava, but it turned out to be rather good. It was limbo time. How low did I go? Let's just say that my athletic prowess shined through again on the limbo pole, meaning I didn't break any bones. Good times. <sighs> Talk about getting raked across coals. Timoti wanted me to walk across hot coals for fun. That's right, I walked across fire. I am a fire walker. Like you said, fire started in the first part. I can't believe I just did that. Walking across hot coals is something I never would have had encouraged to try back in the city. It was time to make my move again. Timoti and I shared our first kiss. It was the life change and I never want to kiss anyone else again. No doubt about it. I'm in love and I'm getting in deep. I awoke with a clear head and sound sleep was just what I needed. I dreamt I was back in the city at work in an office job. Then the dream changed and I was locked in a cage at a zoo then drowning in a rich man's aquarium. It was a nightmare. You know what? My life is here now. I need to find Timoti and say that I'm staying on the island. I found Timoti in the jungle, sick with the same illness that the idol gave me. I can't help but feel that this somehow is all my fault. I had to talk to Timoti. I told Timoti that I'm not going to leave the island. I just hope it's not too little too late. In order to prove to the chief that the curse can be cured, I kissed Timoti. Fortunately, I was right and I didn't get sick. I will not allow that to be the last time our lips meet. I needed to get back to the broth before any more villagers got sick. A flaming projectile from the volcano struck my raft. The woven grass sail is burnt and useless. I don't know what to do next. But wait! 
Professor Ryan Hart told me about an abandoned research base on the island. He thinks I may be able to find a replacement sail there. Please let the professor be right. Off I went, and the base I found an old parachute that I can use as a new sail. There's something very fishy about this place, though. I have a feeling Ryan Hart knows more than he's been telling me. I hustled back to the raft to install the new sail. The old parachute worked perfect as a replacement. My raft is finally finished. Oh, yeah. I feel like, but we gotta. Travel to volcano shores, and I feel like, yeah, I feel like Reinhardt knows something. So, but I know he's probably been on the island a lot longer. So, and yeah, well, he did study the islands, but we this the things he says sounds a little fishy. But I'll have to find another way around the island. Well, where to? Oh, thank you, camera pan, for pointing me in the right direction. So let's explore this island. I like the like the rocks, but we need to speed up this process. Ooh, the lava pools. Cool. I mean, we have to hurry post haste. We have to save Timothy and the natives because I'm, yeah, because of the like totem and oh my goodness, look at all these little mini lavas. Ooh, I better watch my step. Okay. Um, gotta quickly pan around here, see if there's an arrow. Okay, there we go. Okay, we gotta hurry. David, watch your step and don't fall into this lava. How I like the little lava pools. That is so cool, but it will be hot, so don't bother taking a dip in there. Ooh, the petrified forest. So many new places to explore. I mean, yes, the island is huge, but still. Okay, um, that must be the hollow tree. And I think that's the staff. Yes, it, let's take it. Okay. I like the style of the tree. That is well done. Um, oh. <laughs> what did that do? I just, he just took the staff and then all of a sudden something bad happened. I need to find a new route back to the raft. So clearly, I'm pretty sure taking the staff was a, from its rightful place was pretty much a bad idea. Or probably, a, like, I don't know. But how, how do we, where do we go now? Oh, over here. I guess we're going to go around the island in a circle then. <laughs> okay. Oh, he's thinking about Mata. Okay. Ooh, Dead Man's Cove. Ooh, the name. Oh my goodness, the name. I... I guess it's gonna be a lot of dead men or stuff, but... Ooh, what's this? Wait a minute. He's so peaceful looking and quiet. Is he dead? I should check, just to be sure. Maybe I can help him. Oh, it's another survivor! Wait, how... Is he by himself? Why? Wait, he got washed ashore here. Wait, how long has he been here? Is he one of the survivors from the Solomon Queen? I don't know. But, um... You're standing on top of him, dude. And your legs are in his chest. How long have you been here? What's your name? Um, Pittman. I was chief engineer on the Solomon Queen. Hold on, Pittman. I'll get help. And I just walk off. Too late. I'm done for. That professor, he doomed us all. Professor? What professor? He bribed me to get into the engine room. Didn't think it would do any harm. But then the explosion and here we are. And he's just dying. Do you mean Ryanheart, Pittman? Pittman? Professor Reinhardt? Is that who we could be talking to? Oh, cool. We got. Oh my goodness. We got a glitch, and the dirt is just going through his body in the back way, so it looks like he's pooping while he's standing. <laughs> and we got a Grim Reaper just checking him off the list. Let's just gather some bones while he does that. And he has a cell phone, like, yep, we got another one. Take him down to hell, or heaven, or limbo. Just take him away. <laughs> Oh, that's an interesting, uh, tombstone. Oh, that now that kind of does make a little bit of sense, but... Oh, hey! Eat some bananas. Okay, I'm trying to make sure I take care of your needs, but I also realized it is... We just did actually go into a circle, because we're going back to where we first arrived on the island. Okay, his needs are pretty good, so... Oh my goodness. So, I, I kind of had a feeling, of course, we had to go around the whole island until we get back to where we are, so... Huh. Okay. Um... Wait, where's our raft? Oh, over here! Okay, we gotta go travel back to the village harbor. 
that's pretty much what we have to do. He just turns around the corner and goes back into his swimmers. Don't know how, like, he just barely touched the water with his toe, and then he's like, oh, better change to my swimmers, and then he just walks around it and just walks to the raft. Like, dude, why is he running? Um, what's happening here? There's Timoti. Um, where's Ryan Hart? He has gone to the house of Tuzu. He said you were to join him there. Why are you angry? He's up to something, but I'm not sure what. Where is the temple again? Through the jungle. We are all sick now, David. Oh, no. I know. Ryan Hart said the cure would be in the house of Tuzu. The temple house is great power. I hope he is right. Chapter 23, Let My Love Open the Door. It kind of reminds me of the Frozen song, like, Love's an open door. <laughs> okay, let's just slip back into everyday clothes. And then we have to find the place. Wait, can I just cheat by looking at my map? Oh, cool, look at this. We got a lot of fixed places. I don't know. Um, Baron Banks, Premier Shrine, Swamp, uh, Forbidden Village. I, I'm gonna go to the jungle, okay? Cause it, cause I'm pretty sh I mean, there's a lot of things on the island, um, that I've explored on the island, so I'm get sorry if I'm getting a little lost. So, and my dumb memory. Oh wait, is this the right way? Is this the right way? We got an angry... Statue. Oh, wait. Yes. Explore. Yes, this is a new place. Okay, we gotta hurry. Hurry, David. Hurry, 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 hurry. The House of Tuzu. Yes. There we go. I, I'm sorry. I just can't help it. But, um, where is Professor Reinhardt? Is he... He's not there. Oh, he just teleported right there. Okay. Um, time to get to the bottom of this. Okay. Well, we're just having a pleasant conversation. But I need to confront him, so let's talk and confront. Okay, Ryan Hart. You got some explaining to do. I mean, yes, you've been on the island for years. You've studied them. But there is something suspicious. Like, I feel like you, there's something suspicious about you. I don't know. But... We need to know what's up. What's up? You're here. Did you find the staff? Yeah. I did, but I also met a man named Pittman, the Solomon Queen's engineer, chief engineer. He said some th disturbing things about you, Professor. I see, but it doesn't change a thing. My theory that the temple contains a cure is still reasonable. Hand over the staff and we'll find out. Um, you mean you don't know, but you knew about the staff? You knew where it was hidden? Yeah, that was highly... Yeah, that's a little suspicious, don't you think? Where well, you knew where the staff was, exactly. I've been trying to get inside this temple ever since the Illuminati station be here years ago. Um, after we crashed the Volcano Festival and witnessed the power of the House of Tuzu, the race to steal the staff was on. But you found, you knew where it was and you didn't bother to take it in the first place when you first discovered it, but you don't know what it's like. All the pressures that come with belonging to a secret society of an evil gen Jenny, it's all about the big next big idea for the world domination, and trust me, all the good ones have been taken. So wait, are you kind of, like, confessing that you're evil? IP theft runs rampant and there's always someone younger, but never smarter, lurking in the wings to challenge me. I stole the staff and hid it, but the natives drove us from the island before I get a chance to use it, to gain the edge. Oh, so you oh, so you stole the uh, staff, but you placed it in a tree and then until you came back. It's taken me all this time to get back. Now with your help, the temple and its treasures are within my reach. What? Hand over the staff if you want your true love to survive. Wait, 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 wait. I'm okay, I'm lost. <laughs> but no. Tell me how to use it and I'll open the temple. Because I have, I don't know if we can trust you anymore. Very well, it's simple, really. Point the, the staff at the door and will it to open. Oh, cool. Wait, and that's just all I have to do? Okay. Um, should I say please in my will? Yeah. 
Um, will the door to open? Illuminati. Awesome. I put all my eggs in one old senile basket. A senile. I don't know how it's pronounced. But look at the temple. That looks like details. That is on point. Like, wow, that looks cool. Okay, Professor Reinhardt is walking ahead. I guess we should follow him. Oh, open door with stuff. Okay. Okay. Um, he's just standing there. The temple looks so cool. Oh my goodness. I don't know how many times I've said that, but yeah. Okay. David, would you do the honors? Oh! Oh, that looks so cool. That looks so cool. And, pref and the Professor Reinhardt just walk runs in. And picks up a goblet. And then drinks it. Wait, is it just me or does... It reminds me of like an in a Indiana Jones movie. I don't know why. Ooh, what's with the music? Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, that's embarrassing. Wait, how did he already get the tattoos? Okay, I'm a little confused. So wait, he just became younger. Oh my goodness, look at all that treasure. So, wait, what, was there not really a cure at all? Oh my goodness. I'm pretty sure there wasn't... Is there really a cure? I don't know. I'm pretty sure there wasn't. But the shaman is here. Uh, what have you got to say? So this is the thief who sealed the temple against us so long ago. Wait, so it was Ryanheart the whole time? He's a liar and a maniac as well. Oh my goodness. Plot twist. You hold the power to judge him, David. Point the staff at him and choose. <gasps> really? Oh, cool. David, I know you are tired, but we need to deal with this Reinhardt situation once and for all. So, oh my goodness, this treasure looks so sweet. But <gasps> let's choose this bait. Oh, this is going to be so exciting. <laughs> oh, banish your reward. Um, I don't want to reward him because all the treasure he's found is pretty much his reward. But... Ooh, I'm, banishing him sounds so cool. And plus, finding out that the whole time he was this thief. But, oh no, I didn't pick. Okay, hold on. Let me, let me just... Okay, I guess it was on a time limit. So, you know what? I'm gonna try and banish him. Oh my goodness, he's so tired. But yeah, let's banish him because it looks cool. Yeah, he's... So long, you are banished. No! Um, okay. He just died. <laughs> the volcano is wise. Let us return to the village. Nice! I am so happy, but I'm also tired at the same time. I'm sorry if I'm, like, saying I'm for David sometimes. Oh, can we try and drink that? I mean, before we go, we better take one good look at this gold. Because, I mean, we're not going to take it. Oh, I have to be an elder to drink from the chalice. Yeah, that kind of reminds me of, like, this, um... Indiana Jones movie where this one dude wanted to, I don't know, be like internal youth or something. And there was this like guy there who says like, you must choose a goblet and choose the right one. And you chose wisely and you chose poorly. I like, I'm pretty sure it was an Indiana Jones movie Whoa, reference, like a little bit. I know you're tired, but you know what? We have to save... Timoti, and I guess all- I don't think there was even a cure. But... I don't know. But you know what, David? Go get some sleep, and then try and... Return to the natives. Wait, we kind of have that stuff. So wait, we had the power to control Ryan Hart's fate, so... If we- what if the staff can also do other powers? I'm just kind of curious. But I need to wait until he is all good to go. So this might be a little while. Look within yourself, David. You will hold also the power to heal Timoti. Oh, yeah, because I, 
I said, like, what if the staff had other powers? So all this time, I was carrying the cure. <gasps> oh no, Timoni! No, my love! I have to heal you! <gasps> this is so cool! The magic and everything! I am, like, God. Oh, <laughs> this is adorable. You have saved our village, David. And you have found the staff of Tazu, which was stolen from us so long ago. I only did what anyone would would do. Not so. You have done what nobody would do. You have done mighty and righteous deeds. The volcano smiles upon you. Therefore, I appoint you my successor, David. From this time forward, you are the shaman of the tribe. <gasps> Sweet! I am now the new shaman. <laughs> I am honored. Shaman Amanaki, but I have one request before you retire. What? <gasps> yes! Yes! <laughs> What is that box made out of? But I don't care! <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh, oh, yes! Oh! Oh, it's those helpless survivors. What are they doing here? Wait, how did they find this place? Okay. I guess they were all wandering around looking for the professor. I don't know how they how they how the group got here. Okay, I'm just confused. Wait, did they watch me get proposed? Like, pro not get proposed, proposing to Timothy. Oh wow. I thought these survivors would have already been dead by now because they were helpless. David, why didn't you tell us about this place? It's much better than that dump back at the lagoon. Can we move in here? Uh, no, thank you. All friends of David are welcome here, stranger, but the only the chief may grant you permission to live among us. Oh yeah, well, how about it, chief? If it is what David desires. Um, well, uh... Oh, I see. Too good for us now, are you? After all we've done for you? You did nothing! Look here, they have a raft. Really? Well, we know when we're not wanted. Just let us have that raft and we'll be out of your hair forever. Do you hear that noise? It sounds like a giant wee whacker. Um. Oh! <gasps> it's a helicopter! Uh, we're just peering to the sky. There was nothing. And they're all just cheering. Oh, no, wait. Is this supposed to be the point of view from all the helicopter? Wait, how did they all go down there all of a sudden? Um, okay. Well, there's the helicopter. I've got a delivery for a Professor Reinhardt. Oh, he had to step off the island for a bit. I'm not sure when he'll be back. <laughs> You're here! We're rescued! Thank goodness! It took you long enough. Did you bring food? Can I drive? Oh my goodness, girl, no! You would kill everyone! I mean, yeah, go ahead! Kill everyone while you fly. Fine, get on board and hold tight. You know, people work their entire lives in hopes of retiring to a place like this one day. I'm staying. Me too. I don't want to lose my tan or my Robbie. Young love. At least they finally told each other how they feel. I mean, she kind of told him how she felt, so it's nice that they got together. But, uh... He said there was something for Professor Reinhardt, so what did he give me? I don't know. Is it in my inventory? Oh, I got two of these. <laughs> wow. Oh my goodness, I have a lot of stuff. Oh, the cold walking thing in my boobs. Oh my goodness. Oh, off they go. Wait, there's a crate here. Okay. I feel like that crate... Was that crate always there? I don't know. But thank you, Camera Pan. Let's find out what that crazy old man was up to. Yep, let's open this crate, shall we? Or package. We're gonna finally see um, the true colors of Professor Reinhardt. I mean, we did banish him, so... 
A weather control device? This must have been the evil project he was working on that, at that research base all those years ago. It looks like Reinhardt was planning on setting himself up at some sort of volcano god and living forever. I guess the volcano had different ideas. Oh, why am Why is he nodding? <gasps> it's a wedding arch! Yes! We're getting married. Right here and right now. With, a f with two helpless survivors and the native tribe. Why do you have to glitch? <laughs> Hashtag devotee. We are officially married. Oh, congratulations. You finished the guided portion of our shipwrecked and single story line. David and Timothy are starting their romance together, and it's up to you to control whether or not they live happily after or after together. Wait, so that means I finish? Oh, it's because since I got married, I'm no longer single. Or sh I, I don't know if I'm still shipwrecked or not. Once again, my friends, it is luau time! Oh my goodness, I have no words. Nice cutscene. I can't believe it. Is this really the end? Na, 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 na. The music, I love it. <gasps> the end! Oh my goodness, it is the end! Is that it? Oh. I, I want to keep singing this song. Na, 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 na. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> oh. Q in the credits. Is that it? We're going to a loading screen. Where's Tomoti? He's not there. Before I end this, I do have to finish off the chapters that I just played through. Okay? So, um... I believe we are up to... The tide's turn. Because I've... I believe... Yeah, I've read Home is Where the Hut is, I think. But, oh my goodness... Ryan Hart told me about abandoned nature. Yeah, I think I've already read this. Okay, yeah, there we go. I set sail with my heart in my stomach. The raft worked. It stayed afloat, and that's all I needed to do, in my opinion. It looks like I have to find my own way around the island. The directions Reinhardt gave me around Volcano Island were out of date. I had to find a new way. Turning back is not an option. I hope the staff was the only thing living in that hollow tree. It was. I found the staff, or to zoo exactly where Ryan of Tzu, where Reinhardt's legend said it would be, quote-unquote. This doesn't look good, again. I was forced to find my own way around the island. A volcanic temper blocked my path. I found another survivor from the Solomon Queen, Bart Pittman. This guy was in pretty rough shape. I doubt I'd be able to help him, but at least I could keep him company for a bit. He died right in front of me, but not before he implicated a professor in sabotaging the Queen. I had a bad feeling that Reinhardt is responsible for the shipwreck. I sailed, paddled, and pushed the raft back to the main island as quickly as I could when I returned to the village harbor I could see that the disease has been spreading oh no yeah and quote unquote professor so yeah, this is when I think we start to realize his true colors, but I had to find a cure. I had to open the temple. Reinhardt was waiting for me at the house of Tzu. I wanted to find out what game Reinhardt had been playing with me. I confronted Reinhardt about what Pittman told me. He showed me his true colors. The nice old mentor figure is actually pure evil incarnate. I no wonder, no wonder he didn't mind living with you. Could I trust Reinhardt? I didn't have a choice. I had to try to save Timothy and the others. Reinhardt told me how to use the staff to open the temple. I should have known there wouldn't be a cure inside. Instead, the temple was filled with treasure and Tuku Tuzu's youth potion. I saw Reinhardt grow younger after drinking from the Chalice of Days. All this time, Reinhardt was just using me and all the others. I couldn't let him get away with that. It was time for the evil Professor Reinhardt to receive his compliments. I used the Staff of Tuzu to give Reinhardt exactly what he deserved. I had to go back to the village harbor without a cure. I returned to the village harbor with my heart weighing heavy. I felt like I had let everyone down. 
Yeah, but then I was questioning, like, if I had the power to banish Reinhardt, wouldn't I have, like, other types, wouldn't the staff had other type of powers? But I tried anything to save Tomodi. The staff of Tizu held the cure for the temple's curse. I used the staff to heal Tomodi. To my surprise, the rest of the villagers were healed as well. Maybe true love really can conquer all. Well, I popped the big question to Tomodi, only to be interrupted by Hugh Bailey and the other worthless survivors. I had to find out what the crazy old man had been up to. I accepted Reinhardt's shipment. It was a weather controlled device. Now it was time to set off on the biggest adventure of my life, starting a family with Timothy. I planned a vacation around trying to meet my soulmate, got shipwrecked, had many adventures, made new friends, and ultimately found exactly what I was seeing. Life is funny. Some people deserve what they get. Others get what they deserve. You wouldn't think that there would be much of a difference between the two, but there it is. I think the trick is never knowing which type of person you are. And that's the power of love. But anyway, spirituals, I'm sadly going to have to end this series here because we have officially, I have officially finished this series, this gameplay, and wow, my personal opinion is I love it. Just the ending, like, like twists and, pa and magic, like, amazing. I feel like, okay... The Sims Castaway Stories is now officially my favorite because um in this they act this person did like this like not this person this story had um a lot more cutscenes and it, like it was so cool um I like yeah that's what I kind of like in this story is that there's like a little movie cutscenes and everything and all the native people and their cool names and everything and. This nice guy that helps you turns out to be evil all along. So, yeah, so funny. That's like the epic twist. But now, um, I'm upset that it, that <laughs> there's no more like stories or chapters based on the castaway stories. So I'm a little sad that it's over. But um, at least it's not over, over because I still believe. Because I still believe, yeah, that I have one more Sim spin-off story to play, and then I will cry. Because after that, when I finish playing that story, um, I don't know what else to do now. <laughs> but anyways, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, give your love and support by sharing and liking this video. And also, if you spirituals have other videos you want me to do for this channel, please let me know down in the comments below. And of course, goodbye and have a spiritual day.